Hi everyone, if you are new here, my name is Bobbin, and today I'll be talking about how you can reconnect with your old friends as well as make new friends. Um, because I work as a uh, kids help phone crisis responder, and almost every shift I see people who are feeling lonelier than ever, um, and people who have like no one to talk to, so they come talk to me or whatever from the support service. And I want to kind of give some advice on how you can decrease your loneliness, make more friends, form a lot more memories, and all of that good stuff. So if that sounds fun to you, I think you'll enjoy this video. So, especially if you're entering college or university, remember that it's not always about academics. It's also a time for personal growth and forming uh, lasting connections. So by using some of these tips, you'll be able to kind of help you um, like form some more meaningful friendships and stuff like that. And even if you're in high school or something, I think these tips could help you. And that's because friendships are a crucial aspect of like life and they bring joy, support, lifelong memories. And you just, it's nice to have someone to talk to. I've been pretty lucky because of TikTok and being in person for my university experience in first year. Um, the illness happened in like second and third that I was able to make a lot of friends at that time. And even though I was commuting, I had some friends from high school and stuff like that as well. If you want more friends, remember to actually make it um, so that you're meeting people and you're actually making an effort to go out and see other people and all that good stuff or to message people on like um, Instagram or Facebook groups or whatever for your class or school or whatever. The thing is, most people are friendly, but you just have to go first. So that brings me to the first part of this video is maintaining the existing friendships you already had. So this is pretty easy. So most of these people you already know are friends from like high school or whatever. But if you want to kind of build a stronger um, friendship with them, what you can do is whenever they post a story or something on Instagram, you can always uh, like it and send them a message afterwards like, wow, that's super cool. Or like comment something about what they posted and then be like, oh, we haven't hung out in a while or are you free to have a chat or whatever and do stuff like that. And honestly, it's OK to do that and to go first, because most times these people, you know them well and you uh, we'll be able to kind of have a shared memory with them or at least like talk to them or whatever. So that's always great. And it will also lead you to learning a lot more about uh, kind of like what's going on with the people that you used to be close with or whatever. So yeah, keep in touch with them, call them, text them, use social media and schedule face to face contact. So go for a outdoor activity, go get food or whatever works for you. But just make sure you're respecting uh, like their boundaries, because at least with science students and engineering students, a lot of them are usually quite, quite busy. They're studying for their MCAT, they're working their research job, they're doing their extracurriculars, they have their other job. Um, at least that's the case with a lot of my friends and me as well, working at a senior's home, studying for Casper, um, doing tutoring, making social media content, being crisis responder for kids help phone, starting a research job. So yeah, just be mindful and respect other people's um, time commitments and stuff like that and the priorities and then just see them whenever you can or if they're too busy at the current moment, maybe you can just call them or something for a little bit to reconnect and see them when they're done. So that's uh, another strategy you can use. And always be supportive and empathetic. So be there for them. Offer a listening ear and actively listen to them when they're facing tough times, as well as celebrate their successes. So if they get into like a program that you've been working super, super hard for or whatever, be sure to congratulate them and celebrate with them uh, for their achievements and milestones. So now let's talk about making new friends. So my advice here would be to go do the things that you would normally like to do and do them regularly and then just kind of uh, talk to the people that are already there. Because according to psychology, 
my uh, 100 level psychology knowledge. So in order to like people, there's this thing called like, there's a couple of things you can keep in mind. One would be like reciprocity and similarity, as well as like repetitiveness. So if you see people over and over, they already have the same interests as you, they're similar, and that repeated exposure will help in them liking you more. And then just ask them like, hey, how's it going? Um, you can ask them for a favor. That usually is a good psychological trick into making people like you. You can ask them to like, oh, what would you recommend at this coffee shop? It's my first time. Or would you mind watching my stuff? Or can I work in with you or whatever if you're at the gym? Because that act of them doing something for you small uh, will basically psychologically trigger that, okay, this person's not so bad. I will help them or whatever. And of course, you're going to want to be open and approachable. So obviously smile and display positive body language and be just be friendly. Be like the person who's initiating the conversations and uh, stuff like that. And people are honestly usually very easy to talk to. Um, you can always talk to the people next to you in class or in lecture or in lab and stuff like that and see how they're doing, if they're what they want to major in and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's always a good idea. And yeah, I think just making an effort to go outside and do things you want to do will always help you. Next up, you can use social media, um, like being kind of introverted. I've met a lot of people from Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, uh, stuff like that. And even before uh, content creation and doing this stuff, I would meet a lot of people just from social media because they're uh, posting something or whatever and you can go and kind of like in like those friend groups, you can message them or you could get homework help or whatever. And that usually can lead to some long lasting friendships. In terms of school um, and using social media, like being kind of introverted, I've met a lot of people from like Instagram or TikTok or Facebook um, just because of content creation and people messaging me and stuff like that. But if you're like just a normal person, you can also like message the people that you talked with in lecture or at the gym or whatever, and just be like, hey, Today was great seeing you and meeting you. Are you interested in studying for this course together over Zoom or in person? Or would you like to go to the gym again sometime? Um, yeah, let me know. And that will help you a lot because now uh, you have like a connection and you kind of know uh, what they're going to do and when they're going to go. So you can kind of go with them and make some friends that way. Another thing you can do especially if you're in college or university or even high school, is join clubs and organizations. Because if you're doing this, then you're going to be surrounded by like-minded people who are at least somewhat interested in um, that topic as well. And you can just talk to them about like, hey, how's it going? Um, how long have you been in this club? Oh, what position are you in? And all that sort of stuff. Because uh, most people in clubs are also trying to make friends or kind of strive to whatever their uh, club goal is and stuff like that. And the classic, hi, like, my name is this, um, like, how are you doing today, will always work. And you, with the clubs, you can also attend social events and just events in general, because now uh, you're going to be able to meet even more people who are like-minded and stuff like that. And yeah, if you're in the school setting, you can always do group studies with the classmates and stuff like that. And yeah, you can bond over like academic challenges and get help and support. And some of my closest friends, we kind of do a lot of this stuff. And that's why we're close to each other because we've overcome kind of the challenges together. You can also go to like university or campus wide events, orientations, workshops, those very big events, um, it's always a good idea to go and will help you meet new people as well as like participate in like the icebreaker activities 
and overcome like that initial awkwardness to kind of create new uh, connections because it will benefit you. So yeah, once you have some friends, make sure you're nurturing those friendships. So be reliable and trustworthy, keep your promises, show up on time. If it's always just really douchey that when people are late or they decide not to show up or whatever. So just be a good person, let them know, stay on time, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, organize group outings. So kind of plan some things you can do, resolve conflicts maturely. So just, I think communicating um, is always great and be understanding and yeah. So I hope some of those tips help you in your friendship search and reconnection and that it at least will kind of guide you in the things you can do if you're feeling a little bit lonely or wanting some more people to be your friends with or whatever. And as always, my Instagram and stuff is open, so I'm always happy to talk to people there and TikTok and whatever. So I hope that is helpful. Please leave a like, follow, and subscribe if it is, and share with somebody who you think could benefit from making some more friends and all of that. So that's all for now. Take care. I'll be sure to make more videos. Have a good day.